Hey everybody, it's Chris Demetric here from TDW and uh, this week I've got a little video I was doing for something else. I thought I would share it with you. Um, over the last several weeks I've been doing a lot of new type of ways of being creative. I'm, I'm learning how to do some uh, watercolors. Uh, I've been uh, working on my 3D printer and actually I've been working on learning some CAD and, and SketchUp and stuff like that which is a long process so a lot of time at the desk but uh, still being creative and thought I would share the latest little video about the pangolin that I made so hope you enjoy and uh, if it's not your cup of tea I could appreciate a little feedback but you know what thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and enjoy this week's video what the heck is a pangolin well, a pangolin is a creature that's a cross between an anteater and a armadillo. It's pretty interesting. It has this really long tongue in which it eats like 70 million ants a year. Uh, there's uh, species mostly in Africa and in Asia. And uh, they're the cutest things, but, you know, it's a defense mechanism. They look like a big dinosaur, but they're pretty cuddly. They roll up into a ball so things like tigers and predators can't eat them. And because they're a slow-moving animal, well, humans, they just pick them up. And slowly, yep, they are being eaten out of extinction. So, as much as I'd love to have one at home so I could cuddle with and show everybody to save the pangolin, they need to stay out in the wild. So, I got out the 3D printer, and on World Pangolin Day, I went to Thingiverse and downloaded the plans to print out my own little pangolin. And after, what, 12 hours of printing and another couple hours for the feet, I came up with my own little pangolin. And there she is, my little pangolin. See how she's articulated? She rolls up just like she's uh, under attack. She rolls up in a little ball like that. And I made the uh, feet articulated. I got this model on the Thingiverse website and uh, it was for World Pangolin Day and I thought it came out pretty cool. Oh, isn't that cute? And I even made a little stand for him. And here's the little stand I made. He's so cute he even wagged his tail at me. So I'm not much of a conservationist, but I thought maybe I would, you know, enlighten some people on the plight of the pangolin. So thanks for watching and see you next week. This is Chris Demetric from TDW Woodworks.